Good morning. It is Friday morning, which means it's time once again for Fridays with Frank. I'm Scott Cullen, Editor-in-Chief of the Canada Report. Great to be with you this morning. Before I bring out Frank, don't forget to do the usual like, subscribe, comment, and send Frank your questions. And now please welcome our founder, Frank Canada. Hey, Frank, how you doing? It's been a busy month of September. I'm back from my vacation. We're recording this at the beginning of October. And why don't you update me on what you've been doing? Well, it, I hope you enjoyed your vacation and uh, welcome back. Uh, I, you know, I've just been thinking or reflecting so much about what we saw at uh, Printing United. And of course, we we put a uh, a brief article out about basically some of the things that we thought were important regarding Printing United. I think it was clear evidence to anybody that has that has been in this industry a while that there is no question that manufacturing is consolidating. I think the perception here in the United States has always looked upon uh, the consolidation process as a manufacturer going away, which is nonsense. And I hate to use that term, but that's exactly what it is. The consolidation that's going on is manufacturers recognize particularly after the pandemic, that they have to increase their profitability in terms of manufacturing. And the only way to do that is to consolidate with other manufacturers to make either engines, parts, or in fact, buy specific product lines from a particular manufacturer rather than investing in doing the research and development, developing the products and all that. And I think that the, the prime example at Printing United was Fujifilm. I mean, what better example can we have? You walk in and there's Fujifilm is now showing their, their wares and selling their wares for the first time in the United States on the production print side directly with the Fuji label. Ah, and then, of course, we have Sharp, who joined Printing United for the first time, showing some Fuji product. Uh, then, of course, we visited, uh, CJ and I visited with Konica Minolta. And, of course, everybody knows that there's a joint agreement between KM and Fuji. Will there be other players? Oh, yeah. Yes, there will be. And what did we learn very recently? Caton is going to be selling A3 MFP. That is manufactured by Fujifilm. How's that one? So now, does that mean any of the players that are doing this are folding? Is Xerox going away? Nonsense. The seven, you know, I, I laugh when people talk about, well, you know, because they think about Xerox when it was a $17 billion corporation. Today, it's, it's only a $7 billion corporation. Oh, how many corporations in this, in this business are $7 billion? So, you know, I get, a, I get a big chuckle out of that. It's, it, it's just unrealistic to think that that is going to happen. Printing United is all about production print. And it was so clear that this is really, really taking off. I was so surprised by the number of dealers that we saw walking around at, in Vegas. I never anticipated. And also the numbers. Uh, there was one one dealer who he wasn't the, the dealer owner wasn't there himself. He had the head of uh, his production print there. 
had 13 people. Unbelievable. That's how heavily committed they are. And this is a deal, uh, this is a dealer we wrote about. And they've been in the production print business uh, since going back to 70 years. So to the days when the, they were selling uh, 3M machines that printed uh, the duplicated machines, they called them. They're very familiar with high-speed products, high-speed print products. And on and on, and, and we kept talking as we as we met some and sat down with them, and we have subsequently had conversations with some since we've come back, and it's so clear that they understand the growth potential. It's not just satisfying a profitable segment of the business; they see the growth. Uh, one of the questions that we uh, were asking ourselves is, is labeling going to compete with with cut sheet to some degree? In other words, like having their shows at the same time of the year, uh, which I don't think was a smart move. Uh, but even if it does, there are many, many of these same dealers that we saw are, are making decisions whether they go into labeling or packaging. Most of them are choosing labeling. So there's, there's, there's growth opportunity. But in general, and to kind of wrap this all up, the show was an exciting show in many ways. And really, but also one, one thing I, I, I haven't touched on, but we had large dealers represented for the first time that I've been there. Uh, there was Pacific Office Automation. There was Visual Edge. And there may have been others that, I, that we never got to see, but that was certainly more on the floor or the area of, of the Vegas Convention Center that we, we, had, we were looking through. It's only going to get bigger not smaller. And I, I'm so glad we've devoted the time, the resources, and the energy we have to looking at production print and asking dealers to do the same thing. That's my story, Scott. <laughs>